Put on your slime-proof goggles and get out your orange blimps, because today we're following the iCarly cast to the 2021 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. That's right, the cast of the new 2021 iCarly reboot, set to launch on Paramount Plus, was in full swing at the recently concluded awards. How'd your laser hair removal go? Great, now I'm smooth as a dolphin! The show hosted by Nickelodeon alum, Kenan Thompson, was a wild affair from the start. Oh, hey, where's the little peculiar kid, uh, Jimmy? Silly skits, slime-tastic splashes, and topsy-turvy winners were announced left and right. Perhaps the biggest slime light of the night was the red carpet appearance and subsequent favorite movie award presentation by none other than the recurring cast of the, of the iCarly reboot. I know we just met and everything, but would you maybe want to help us out with something? These three, namely Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Kress, and Jerry Trainer, sent the internet into overdrive when they made their first public appearance together after the announcement that Paramount would be rebooting the hit show. Were you watching the stream? How did you feel seeing the three reunited again? Make sure you let us know in the comment section and don't forget to keep up with the iCarly cast by subscribing to the channel. Now let's talk about the latest craze sweeping the iCarly nation. The viral video that started it all. Though this is the first time we're seeing these three reunited publicly in a long time, it isn't the first time we're seeing them in relation to the new iCarly reboot. A recently released teaser trailer showed the three confirmed castmates goofing off behind a set labeled iCarly set number one. The three sweetly panic about maybe not having it anymore. Because that requires effort. So does mining. The 42 second clip features the three riffing off one another in familiar banter. Jerry is loud and hilarious, and Freddie seems forgetful and unsure. Typical iCarly cuteness ensues. Carly seems to get the crew together, and though it's a little meta, she riles us up. It ends with iCarly's iconic line, Leave it all to me, and the original theme song playing in the background. Leave it all to me. Leave it all to me. <laughs> yep. But that wasn't the only hype the cast was willing to give. They showed up at the 2021 Kids' Choice Awards to remind us that they've still got it. The 2021 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. The night was set to be a success with hilarious host Keenan Thompson commanding the slime. He brought on big laughs throughout the night and shared some crazy moments with his co-hosts. There were a few surprise wins and some pretty adult content taking home the blimp despite this being a Kids' Choice Award. Okay, look. A small party means like 400 to 500 people, man. Oldies like Stranger Things, which hasn't had a season since 2019, took home the favorite family TV show award. Strange indeed. SpongeBob SquarePants still reigns as favorite animated series. This Nick legend is going strong. Did we expect any less? Henry Danger lead star Jace Norman took home the favorite male star award, while Enola Holmes star Millie Bobby Brown held the crown for the ladies. Nickelodeon alum herself, Ariana Grande, won favorite female artist. We hope that was for her child-friendly content and not so much for her heavily adult-themed latest releases. Hi, is, is Sam okay? Is she in the hospital? No, she's just in here. BTS won favorite music group. Their worldwide appeal keeps getting bigger and bigger. Congrats, BTS. Favorite music group at Kiss The biggest game of the past year, Among Us, won the favorite video game title, which is well-deserved given the pandemonium it brought in 2020. Then came the moment nobody was expecting. The iCarly cast got on stage and announced the favorite movie award in front of a screaming crowd. Let's get to the good stuff. iCarly cast reunites the 2021 Nickelodeon Kids' Choice Awards. If there was any indication that Nickelodeon would be getting a whole lot of press, it was on the red carpet. Or should we say orange carpet? Miranda Cosgrove, Nathan Kress, and Jerry Trainer were all dressed up as they walked the orange carpet with pride. It had been a minute since we'd seen them last, and they didn't disappoint. Miranda's dress was giving us some serious SpongeBob vibes with its under-the-sea themes. Sam? Yeah? Rip her head off! Starfish and seaweed galore. Nathan slayed in a sleek black blazer and matching pants. His sideswept hairdo gave adult Freddy a whole new look. Jerry toned things down with a light blazer and cool patterned shirt. He's also grown out his hair. Just check out his long locks. He's got cool dad vibes for sure. I did it! I edited you guys out before I uploaded the audition. When the big moment came to announce who had won favorite movie, all three cast members made their way on stage. Though we only got to see them briefly, it didn't make the moment any less amazing. Miranda Cosgrove opened the Quick Awards segment by thanking her fans and expressing her happiness and excitement to be back on stage. She also let it slip that the iCarly show was coming back, to which the crowd, as artificial as it may have been, gave a loud cheer. J 
Jerry Trainer brought on the silliness when he replied, We need to celebrate. I'm thinking balloons, fireworks, t-shirt cannons, confetti in the shape of our faces. I'm thinking balloons, fireworks, t-shirt cannons, confetti in the shape of our faces. And then we throw an all-night pizza party paid for by someone else. We agree. Pizza always tastes better when you're not the only one paying for it. Heck, anything does. The trio keeps going as Nathan riffed that there's something cooler they can do. What's cooler than a free pizza party, Jerry replies, to which Nathan Kress states, we hand out a blimp. Hey there, fudge balls? No. No? Okay. The trio stood apart on stage, practicing social distancing. Wonder Woman 1984 was announced, and Gal Gadot, who shined in a flowy yellow dress, was more than happy to take the blimp home. Well, there you have it. History in the making, people. We've definitely secured the iCarly reboot, and it's clear they have already started filming. I thought they didn't exist. <laughs> she means we thought they'd be really hard to find. We're keeping our fingers crossed that despite little complications, the next time we see this cast, it'll be for the first episode of the newly rebooted iCarly show on Paramount+. Plus. Until then, stick with us for more news and deep dives into the world of film and television. See you in the next one.